Hello, football fans. Another seven weeks in the CFL season has come and gone. And would you believe it? We're heading into the home stretch with these storylines all in the CFL app here. Um, the Argos, my Argos, actually picked up a pretty impressive win uh, against Ottawa, who's kind of in the thick of things a little bit, but it was, it, but it's not. Argos are two in line. Second worst record in the league. Only the, only the BC Lions are worse than two and ten. Uh, Toronto, Toronto's only shot at the playoffs is second place in the East Division, and we are way off course for that. Not only second place is being held uh, by the Alouettes, and not only are we four games behind Montreal, but we lost the season series. Montreal beat us twice. We have one more beating against them, so we need to finish. We need to finish ahead of them. Uh, 18 games, 18 games season, seven games left. Uh, both Montreal and Toronto played 11. Um, we need to. <laughs> we need to pretty much win out. We need to win out to get at 500. But that, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but we need to win. My math, my math's correct. It usually is. We need to win the bottom. I'm gonna say five, about five, at least five of the, of the final seven games we have left, and, and, and Montreal really has to like fall off, and we're we're a hair behind the audience. That's uh, so we should pass them. You know, that's probably about as far as we're gonna go. But onto the lighter side, uh, the Blue Bombers and Tiger Cats. Tiger Cats are still playing well. They've been winning games left. They're, they're still winning games left and right. They're nine and three. So is Winnipeg. Strangely, Winnipeg was one of the two teams that um, that to, uh, Toronto defeated, and um, yeah, so the Bombers are nine and three, leading the West. Uh, Stampy is Rough Riders. That's a tough. That's a close race for second. Of course, second place gets you home field in the division semifinal. And um, the Rough Riders are third. The Rough Riders are the third place team. I think Stampy has tied with them. Um, they have a better division record, five and one. Saskatchewan is three and two, and um, the, of course with the, with the East being um, soft, the Eskimos can get in as a crossover. The Eskimos get in as a crossover. They're six and six, trading wins and losses, but um, things, 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 things are going to get clear, obviously, especially heading to heading to the final seven weeks of this season. Now. So, um, what's in store as far as the schedule goes? Well, uh, week 15 starts in a few hours with, uh, with um, the, the, the Argos hosting Calgary. Oh, uh, a team, I think we've only beaten Calgary like once in the last few years, though it was what it counted the most, the, um, the, the, the Grey Cup, so that's a plus, I guess. Uh, Hamilton and Edmonton, uh, um, Calgary and Toronto, and Hamilton and Edmonton tonight. And tomorrow, uh, Winnipeg goes to Montreal, and Ottawa hosts BC. And, um, no, no playoff scenarios yet, though. So, like I said, the, it's all going to become clear and clear and clear. Everything will be settled, leading to. Everything's going to be settled, leading to the um, final day of the season, which is November 2nd. Week 21 ends November 2nd, which will end the regular season. Um, I will post, I, I'm a member of the Let's Talk CFL group on Facebook, so I'll post um, up scenarios on that side on Facebook. So, um, my next CFL video will be a full regular season. Final seven weeks and a preview of the playoffs, so it should be an interesting final seven weeks. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be back on YouTube with uh, a look at baseball heading into the final week. As we of baseball, just a little you know, congrats to the Yankees. We won the AL East and we have another 100 win season. The Savages strike again. <laughs> so until then, 